Welcome to EFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. The High Court has allowed the government to confiscate 102 million love gifts sent to 23-year-old student Felista Nyamathira Njoroge by her billionaire boyfriend abroad. In a judgment handed down by Esther Maina, the Kenyan government was allowed to keep the money held in two cooperative bank accounts belonging to Nyamathira after it was established that the gift was the product of money laundering. The judge ordered the confiscation of the funds because because the source of the money from billionaire Mark de Messel, a Belgian YouTube crypto personality, had not been explained and disclosed. In a landmark judgment, Justice Maina said the philanthropist had been given the opportunity to explain how he earned his money, which he lavishes on young women around the world, but failed to do so. Justice Maina said in the absence of the explanation, the state was benefiting from the money secretly wired into the country by the overseas crypto personality while granting the application by the Asset Recovery Agency to declare the funds as proceeds of crime, Maina said the evidence adduced in court by both the state and the two lovers showed that there was obvious money laundering. Judge Maina ruled, I have analyzed and gone through the evidence tendered by the boyfriend and it did not show the source of the funds that were transferred to the Kenyan girlfriend. She also added that in the absence of the disclosure of the source of the funds, the likely conclusion is that the source of money Money is money laundering. As a result, she said, the court has no option but to order that the money in the two bank accounts be forfeited to the state. Yamathira had hit the headlines in 2021 when she revealed that DCI detectives had intercepted a gift money sent to her by her Belgian boyfriend. She had complained of mistreatment at the hands of the state criminal investigation department for withholding 102 million sent to her for her personal use. Evidence presented in court showed that the money was paid into a cooperative bank account in four transactions between 4th and 6th August 2021, raising suspicions that the agency was owned by the said Nyamathira. The tycoon Belgian businessman who was also in the spotlight after he also transferred 257 million Kenyan shillings to three other Kenyan women Tabi Wambuku Kago 108 million, Jin Wangui Kago 49 million, and Sarah Wambui 100 million. In the transaction declaration documents, the Belgian national has since told the court that Nyamathira, a student at the Nairobi Technical Institute, was free to use the money to ensure financial security for their future children and that he gave the money to the woman as a gift of love. However, the money has been frozen amid suspicions of the source of the cryptocurrency traders' millions pending the outcome of the confiscation case. The ARA alleged that the Belgian national and Yamathira could be involved in an international money laundering scheme. And now the High Court has allowed the government to confiscate the 102 million Kenya shillings that she received as a gift from her boyfriend. Well, that's it for up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't for these more updates. Hit the notification button to be the first to be notified once you have any new uploads. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.